Hi, this is Alex, and here's another video in the water cooling video series. Um, in this video, we're going to be unboxing the Coolance CPU 370 CPU water block. And this is the actual unit that you would put right onto your CPU instead of one of those gigantic heat sinks with a big fan and whatnot. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so it looks like we have an instruction guide on how to install it. Looks fairly simple. That's really about it. And we have some miscellaneous parts, uh, some screws, some bolts, a couple of springs, and a thermal compound, which is very handy. Let's see what else is in the box. Ah, here's the actual water block itself. So this particular unit is the one that you would put right onto your CPU. Let's open it up here. This is actually a fairly heavy unit. I'd say it's, it's about a pound. Oh, yeah, it's pretty heavy. Uh, it's very, very shiny. And let's take a look here. It has the Coolance logo right here. And it has an in and an out. And this is actually made, and this is the CPU 370 model. And um, it's made for various types of processors. Uh, of course, I'm going to be using it on the machine that this was purchased for, which is the Intel 5690. CPU. So um, as you can see here with this particular unit, the input for the nozzles is very close to the middle of the water block, uh, which is very important for water blocks. And the reason is, is because the CPUs get hot right in the middle of the core. And basically, if you have the water going right into the middle or as close to the middle as, as you can, it is more efficient in cooling the processor. So that's one of the reasons why I chose this particular model versus some of the other manufacturers where the input and the output are kind of off the center. So let's see what else is in the, uh, in the box here. Okay, so here's another component. And this one is in case you have a different processor like an AMD or something. And there's a little rubber gasket for the back plates. And these black uh, back plates are the ones that you connect at the uh, on the bottom of the motherboard to secure the particular um, water block to the CPU so it doesn't go away. So basically, you put these two like so, and the motherboard is right in the middle. And you have these long screws right here that will go through this corner or all these four corners into the four corners of the bracket. And that's, uh, that's it for the water block for the CPU. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel for more water cooling videos coming up soon.